Jaguar has a fully automatic sharpening system. To activate the sharpening system, we can go into our SEBA screen. We then select our sharpening menu. With our sharpening menu selected, we can then select on our sub menu of knives and shear bar, and we then can select our sharpening the chopper knives. When we've selected or sharpened the chopper knives, we will then get our sub menu opened. In this sub menu, we will then have information of what the chopping cylinder is doing, how many movements of the grinding stone we have done, what our targets are, and what the complete number of the sharpening system is. To activate the process, we can then use our green arrow at the top, which will then start the automatic sharpening process. Now that the sharpening process has been activated in the SEBA screen, we will now see the sharpening flap will open. The machine will then set the engine RPM to the required speed to sharpen all the blades evenly. The back and forth movement will count as one sharpening cycle. Every time a sharpening cycle is completed, the stone is ratcheted down to compensate for the grinding of the blades. The machine can carry out up to 450 cycles back and forth while automatically adjusting. Once we have reached the 450 cycle threshold, the stone will then need to be adjusted manually. When the sharpening process has been completed, the stone will remain in the part position. The grinding flap will then close and the engine RPM will return to normal. Once you've completed automatically 450 sharpening cycles, the sharpening stone will then need to be readjusted manually. To do this on Jaguar 800, we first need to take a reference dimension between the bottom of the stone and a fixed point on the cylinder housing. Once you've taken your reference dimension, you then need to remember this as the stone will need to be set to this reference dimension when it has been readjusted. To start the adjustment process, we first need to remove the pole from the ratchet mechanism. This stops the stone from turning during the adjustment process. With this out of the way, we can now engage the locking mechanism and turn the stone back to the parked position. When in the parked position, the locking mechanism will pop in and stop the stone from turning. At this point, we can now use our special tool from our toolbox to clamp onto the locking nut and we can loosen the locking nut on the sharpening mechanism. This is a standard thread. With the locking nut now loosened, we can now remove our special tool and carry out our adjustment process. With the adjustment process, we then want to push our sharpening stone down until we have reached our reference dimension again. Once the reference dimension has been met, we then want to tighten up our locking nut, refit our special tool, and torque the nut as required in the operator's manual to 170 newton meters. Once torqued to 170 newton meters, we then want to do a final check on our reference dimension. And at that point, if our reference dimension is correct, we can then move our sharpening system onto the top of our blade. And we want a gap between the blade and the sharpening stone to be no less than 0.5 of a millimeter. If all these measurements are correct, we can then complete our process by resetting our cycle counter to zero.
Once we have completed the manual adjustment, we can then come back to our SEBA screen and have a look in the sharpening menu. We select our sharpening menu and then we select our settings section. In the settings section, you will then get information on the condition of the knives. You will get the time to the next sharpening procedure. Um, if you have a quantity meter fitted to the machine, you will then get a tonnage to the next sharpening procedure. You will then see how many sharpening cycles you are going to set for your sharpening process and then the total number of cycles on your sharpening system. This is the number that we then look for whenever this gets to 450 cycles, we then need to reset our cycle counter. Whenever we complete our sharpening process, we can then adjust how many cycles we complete in one process, and this can be adjusted anywhere between one and 30 cycles. Next thing we can then adjust is our sharpening interval. And this is just a countdown timer to remind us to sharpen, and we can set this anywhere from zero to 99 hours. If we've got the quantity meter option, we can then set anywhere from zero to 8,000 tons. Now, down at the bottom is the important menu, and this is where we reset sharpening cycle counter back to zero after we've completed our manual adjustment. Simply click on the option, you will then get a reminder that you're doing this process, Simply click yes and that will put the sharpening cycle counter back to zero.